Yo, yo, we're back with another video. You guys keep hitting me up in the comment section asking me questions, which is great. You don't learn if you don't ask. So shout out to Faith Over Fear for this question. Can you please do a video on the top bots for sneakers and low key flips given the current current climate of the botting scene. I got you. So it shouldn't be a shocker that the sneaker market is down. Two years ago, there was 20 plus bots in circulation. You had Project Destor Destroyer, Balco, uh, Noble, etc. Um, but you do need to be careful though on which bot you're going for because there are some bots that just flat out don't work that still have their product pages up. Meaning that like, you can still buy the bot, but you know, the bot hasn't been updated in 1.5 years. Um, kind of a scumbag move in my opinion, but uh, just just be careful out there on what you're, what you're buying. Make sure that, uh, that it works or stay tuned to my videos to find out which, which bots you wanna run. Um, but I just needed to get that out there. Um, but if you are interested in um, sneaker botting and botting in general, there's two clear cut choices right now that is just dominating the landscape when it comes to botting. Those two bots right now are Valor and Haya, which by the way, I always pronounce it wrong. I always pronounce it Haya, but it is Haya, like Haya. Uh, Valor is, Valor is an AIO bot, meaning it works on more than one site. It's an all in one. Um, currently, it's crushing Shopify drops, JD and Finish Line, both mobile and on desktop, I believe. Uh, obviously, Nike sneakers uh, with flow, uh, automations in included in that. Um, they just added Adidas confirmed and End Clothing. Um, it's, it, it's definitely one of the best bots out there right now, hand, hands down. Not only does it support all those sites, you know, it consistently does well on those sites. And that's the most important thing when looking at a bot is the consistency. It performs really well. Justin, that dev over there is extremely talented. Keep doing what you're doing because you're absolutely killing it. I kind of find it appropriate he's taking over since uh, Jason left from Valor. I think it's a good, it's a good match. Not only does it work really well, uh, its user interface is really is really friendly, which is super important if you're kind of new into this space. Um, there are bots that are called CLI, CLI bots or CLI bots where they essentially don't have a user interface and you have to go into like the file programs to input your proxies and profiles and make tasks and all that stuff. So having like a nice and clean UI is pretty important. Valor, it's, it's just, it's pretty beautiful. It's really easy to create tasks, click around, move around, you name it. Since I think you guys would be interested in the types of cops you can get with Valor, I'm gonna show you guys some of our members' success. Most of my guys are running Valor right now, especially for those low-key flips. Um, speaking of low-key flips, a lot of profitable stuff has been coming out of Mattel uh, Creations. Mattel Creations is on Shopify, so you can almost guarantee that if you have the right setup, um, you can cop with Valor. Um, a lot of these flips are more profitable than sneakers right now. Um, because you can't rent Valor though, um, you, need to, you need to buy it in order to run, uh, to run it. I do have a recommendation for a bot to use on those um, low-key Shopify sites. Um, it may not perform as well on profitable sneaker releases on Shopify, but it can definitely get you low, uh, low key checkouts. And that is NSB. And uh, here's a member who hit the Dia de los Muertos Barbie dolls um, that were selling for 150 profit per. So important to note, uh, also NSB works on Nike sneakers uh, as well. So for those big Leo drops, grabbing NSB is a good option if you don't own Valor. Uh, it's fairly cheap to rent as well. So that's my recommendation for hitting Shopify and some of the sites above. But there's another bot that if you had kind of with Valor, you would be essentially covering like every single site that drops anything worthwhile. And that's Heha, like we mentioned earlier. Heha has a very large list of sites that they support. Some overlapping modules that work with Valor as well, but Heha works well on JD and Finish Line, uh, New Balance, Asics, Disney Shop, 
um, the Lululemon, Target, Walmart, uh, Best Buy, any of those sites that are essentially not like your main focused um, sneaker sites, Haya supports. Here's a screenshot from their Discord of the sites they recommend. Although you need to use the same stuff in order to run both bots, both bots look completely different and should be used differently. Heha definitely has, uh, Haya, damn it. Haya definitely has some pros and cons to using it, so let's talk about them real quick. Heya is rentable, which is really convenient. If you know ahead of time when your drops are, uh, renting is a pretty cheap cheap option. I'm pretty sure you could rent it for like five bucks a day on Botmart. Uh, not all the time, but at least once a month, there is one profitable drop that drops on the, like these non-sneaker sites. For example, Disney Shop drops those tumblers once in a while that are pretty good money. Target may uh, drop an exclusive toy or there's Lorcana cards dropping on Walmart. There's always something to cop. While it's really good to have all these options in terms of sites to bot, Heya definitely is one of the more buggier bots to use. Um, if any of you remember Stellar back in the day, it kind of has the same feel. Another thing to note if you're an experienced sneaker botter, some of these sites require more work than just simply making tasks and hitting start all. Um, New Balance is a really good example. In order to run New Balance, you need to download a Chrome extension and then go to the New Balance site and click around like a maniac so you can get cookies. Uh, then you put these cookies into your bot. No cookies equals no checkouts. This may sound a little complicated, but once you've done it a few times, you'll get used to it. New Balance isn't the only site that requires you to do this. Target, Lululemon, Nordstrom, and Hibbit, just to name a few others. Something really important to note that I don't think is known with a lot of new people and new botters is you can use the same proxies and the same profiles across different sites as long as you're not running the same site over and over again. So for example, if you were running Nike on Haya and Valor at the same time for the same drop and you're using the same proxies, you can't do that. But if there is a Nike drop at 10 a.m. and you're using Valor, and then there's also a New Balance drop at 10 a.m. and you're using Haya, you can use the same exact ISPs on, on both sites. With these two bots in your arsenal, you're pretty set in terms of being able to go for any drop on any site. Are there other bots out there that work on some of the sites that I mentioned above? Of course. But if you wanna get your hands on the best two bots in the game right now, then I definitely would recommend Valor AIO and Heha. Okay guys, that's all the time that we have for today. If I was able to drop some useful and beneficial knowledge, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. Until next time guys.